having its origin in 1873 and closing its doors after serving the community for over 130 years in 2004. Join me as I venture inside to see what remains of the crumbling Orange Memorial Hospital. First and foremost, welcome to 2023. We are so glad you're here with us. We want to wish you all the very best this new year. To update everyone, I'm recovering well and slowly getting back to new and exciting places. We are very hopeful that Jess will be joining us much more this year and are looking forward to that. Lastly, we continue to do the monthly live stream with some great explorers, get to know them better and share them with you. Don't forget, to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. It really does help the small channels out. The hospital center in Orange dates back to 1873 when a disused firehouse on Lincoln Avenue was donated to start a hospital. There were several hospitals a few miles away in Newark, but as the city began to grow, they needed their own. Just a year after being founded, the firehouse was providing to be inefficient in caring for the sick. A home a few blocks away was rented out and became the new Orange Memorial Hospital. At this point, in the late 1800s, it was common for hospitals to function out of houses. In 1881, local philanthropist Joseph Whipple Stickler donated the land on South Ethics Avenue for the construction of a new hospital. A year later, the new structure was operational. In 1885, a training school was built for nurses adjacent to the new hospital building. The hospital was expanding rapidly and a new building called North Building was built in 1906. The North Building rapidly became crowded and an addition was completed in 1908. North is the oldest extant building on the property. The Boiler House, with its iconic chimney, was built in 1912 and in 1914 the service building was built. The new structure, designed by famed New York City Hospital architects Crow, Lewis, and Wick, the service building had a new kitchen dining halls, and dormitory space for staff. This was critical as the patient population of the hospital soared. The maternity department operating out of the North Building was one of the most active parts of the complex. The hospital sought to answer the growing demand for maternity care by constructing the Brigham Building in 1920 in a colonial revival style. Crow, Lewis, and Wick were once again called in to design the new structure, which was intended to be able to support maternity services for the foreseeable future. Despite that, the building was already at capacity when it opened. Two years later, the hospital began raising money to expand its campus to better serve the community. The $2 million goal was reached before long, with a large percentage of the donations coming from city residents and staff of the hospital. A few years later, new buildings started popping up around the campus. The most notable structure from this expansion was Mary Houston Hall, which was a dormitory for student nurses built in 1928. The original nurse's residence was demolished in order to accommodate the structure. In 1931, a state-of-the-art radiological building on the campus was opened. The hospital had been gaining a reputation as one of the innovative and advanced medical centers in the region. In 1950, an additional floor was added to the service building, Bingham Building, Mary Houston Hall, and Surgical Building. The orthopedic center was constructed in 1960. Orange Memorial Hospital had merged with New Jersey Orthopedic Hospital two years prior and the NJOH needed space at the hospital. Despite being a complete 
departure architecturally from the rest of the Colonial Revival Hospital, the new wing was designed by William H. Crow Jr., the son of one of the original architects. The 1960s and 1970s brought a lot of change to the hospital. In 1965, large additions were added to the tops of the surgical building and the building constructed by the Medicap Institute. Instead of making an effort to blend the additions as was done in the 1950s, these new sections of the building were clad in a red siding. An old building along Henry Street was demolished and a new entrance was built on South Ethics Avenue. In 1975, the new professional building was added as space for doctor's offices. Over the years, the facility started to decline. By 1998, the hospital was purchased on the brink of bankruptcy by Cathedral Health Systems in Newark. However, they did not take on the hospital's existing debt. In 2002, departments were shut down by the State Health Department due to unsanitary conditions and improper cleaning of tools. Despite over a century of history serving the community, the hospital center was shuttered in 2004 after a vote by the Board of Directors. The buildings remained vacant, slowly deteriorating until the city of Orange was designated as a transient village. This designation allows for increased redevelopment of vacant properties through tax incentives. Around 2015, news came about that the hospital was going to be fully renovated and reborn as apartments. Before any development could occur, the building was added to the National Register of Historic Places. No work has been done since. In 2019, several dead bodies were found inside the blighted building, convincing the city to order the building secured. Crews went around the hospital, putting up plywood on all potential entrances to the crumbling complex. This actually had to be one of the worst buildings I was ever in. Everywhere I walked, every floor, it was just torn apart. Scrappers spared nothing. I only hope this once grand hospital can be returned to its former glory. Until next time, explorers, stay safe.